to talk about my two favorite riffs from this song. Just the ones that I find the most interesting. So the whole song was actually inspired by this one chord that I played at one point. And uh, it really was honestly on accident. I wasn't even trying to play this specific chord. And I didn't even know what it was for a long time. And this is how it sounds. That chord actually is what inspired the entire song. I just played that chord and I had never played that before. And I was like, that's freaking awesome sounding. So it turns out that chord is actually basically a sus9 chord. You can just call it a sus chord if you want, if you're not into like music theory type stuff. But basically, if you want to get into that a little bit, it means that it's a sus chord with the fourth and also the second, basically. So it's called a sus9. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just barring the entire fifth fret with my index finger. And uh, by the way, I'm playing in drop B. And so I'm just using right now the first six strings. I'm not using the seventh string right now. So I'm barring the entire thing on the fifth fret with my index finger, except for the seventh string. And then I am just putting my ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string. And that's all I'm doing. And then it sounds like this. And it has a very large sound because of this sixth string right here. It's basically uh, doubling this note right here. So it just sounds like extra big and I love it. Oh yeah. I just heard that and I was like, that is so cool sounding that I want to make an entire song out of it. So the whole song came from that chord. One of the riffs that I really like in the song that uses that chord is in the breakdown. And basically you're just playing the same chord, the same shape, over and over in uh, different areas of the neck. So you're starting on the fifth fret. That's when you first play the chord. And then you move up just to the sixth fret. And then you're also gonna play it on the eighth fret. Those are the three places you play it. So the whole thing actually just sounds like this. That's basically it. So one of the things that I really liked about that chord, and especially on those three positions, the chord progression itself, is that it kind of brought out this jazzy or fusion-y kind of feel. And so when I heard that, I automatically just wanted to play a melody and a solo over it that sounded jazzy and kind of fusion-y. So that won't be in this video, that'll be in the next one. But uh, yeah, you'll learn about the melodies that I wrote over those chords. The second favorite riff is actually the intro, and uh, this is how that goes. I'll play it a little slower. That was one of those riffs where you just play it and immediately you're just like, that just sounds really cool so I'm not going to do anything else to it. Like there's different ways of writing riffs and one of the ways is that you're writing a riff and you're building on it over time and you're embellishing things and you're creating little nuances to make it like more interesting. And then there's another way of writing riffs which is basically just like you play something and then you automatically just intuitively know like that just sounds really cool and I don't even want to bother with it because it already sounds great and uh, I usually don't write riffs that way usually I write it more the first way where I'm like being really calculated about it but yeah this is one of those rare times where I just played it and I was like you know it, it sounds pretty simple like pretty straightforward but I really like how it sounds so I'm just gonna keep it the melodies and the solos are definitely a lot more complex and uh, involved. So I'm going to be putting up uh, a little link right around there, I think. Maybe there, something like that. Alright, so check out that next video and uh, or check out Inga in general and that should be somewhere around this area. Alright, I'll see you later. Have a good day or night or like lunchtime wherever you are. Alright, see ya.